Welcome to Argentinian food blog. So we're here today from Villa Jardín de Reyes. <laughs> it's a little bit of mouthful. We are next to Jujuy in Argentina and today we're starting our uh, food blog. So yeah. we decided first thing we're doing an Argentinian barbecue. So Dan's going to show you what we've got. Okay, so Argentinians are famous for barbecue. Um, they call it asado. Uh, this is not an Argentinian barbecue. <laughs> Let me just point that out. We're breaking ourselves in gently. We went to the butchers. We got more meat there, sausages and meat. But so we're going very English sausages, uh, chipolatas. Yeah, and we know this isn't a proper Argentinian barbecue asado. But this is what they're famous for. They've got one on the go over there. The locals. And oh my god, it looks good. And they showed us completely different way how to do a barbecue. So, yeah, um, you put all the coals on, yeah. and then you put this tin can on top to, keep, to make it faster, warmer. Faster, yeah. And then on the end, to clean the rack, he used fat soaked in lemon juice. Yeah. To clean it, and it just cleaned so easily. It was amazing. Yeah, we're just gonna start ourselves off with some nice Argentinian meat, which we just got and bought. Um, and eventually we'll work our way up to that over there. Yeah. Yeah. Should we go over and have a look? So we'll show you how a barbecue looks. No. No. No Esto costillas. Marucha. 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 Sí. Costillas. Costillas. Morcilla. Y chorizo. Oh, muy bien. So that is a proper Argentinian asado barbecue. Yeah. Yeah, that is not a proper one. <laughs> so we'll try it. We'll see how it goes. Um, and they usually, said, usually you would, usually you would have wine with it. We're having oh Argentinian beer, so we are drinking Schneider, and we love this beer. Mm, yeah, it's really good. good. It sounds the name is German. It sounds German, but it's Argentinian, yeah. and it's really nice. We've been excited about Argentinian food for a while. Yes, we just the meat wait. and the cheese, mm -hmm. and we can't wait. I haven't tried any cheese yet. Come on. No, we've got to try proper you steak as well. I cannot turn wait. Them? Let's turn them. Gracias. <laughs> so friendly. Yeah, Honestly, they're, they're helping us with everything. Yeah. And they do this every Sunday. Well, at least this family does. I don't know if it's all across Argentina. Maybe it is, but every Sunday, that sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Having a massive barbecue like they got over there. And I think we might take that tradition. Yeah, when yeah. we go back, I even in so. the cold winters. Why not? So we're trying it. We just had it done. Mmm. Good. Mm-hmm. Juicy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's put it in a roll. Ketchup. To be honest, it's so juicy. You don't really need ketchup, but this is a very European thing. Yeah. Yum. Good. Mm -hmm. Good burger. Proper meat. burger. Meat is so good. Mm -hmm. I was worried that we might need salt pepper. No. No. Mm -hmm. My mouth's watering just watching you mm -hmm. eat that. Warm. Okay. That's a nice burger. Good mm. meat, yeah. yeah. That is good meat. So I'm gonna put that in here as well, like you did. And we it's will. juicy, yeah. As mm. you said. My mouth is like melt, like watering. Mm. So we just got sausage off. I was going to show it to you. Look how juicy it is. It's fatty. I don't know. Wait. Chili flakes. Some green stuff. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought it was ended, but they bought us some food over. So we got some chorizo sausage. Mm. Mm. Sweet. Oh, that is good. Yeah. Oh, that is good sausage. Mm -hmm. This is like black pudding. It looks like it. I think it's called mm -hmm. their blood sausage. Mm. 
Yeah. It's like melting in your mouth. I think butter sausage like black pudding. That's not something I'd usually eat. It's but this is more mushy. Very mushy. And we got a drink. Vermet de coca? No. Vermet something de coca. We'll it's write it down below. So it's coke? Coke and some sort of liqueur alcohol. Some Italian alcohol. It smells minty. It tastes like medicine. Yeah. Does that mean bad? Uh. So you say it's a traditional drink. Mm. Mm -hmm. Never had that before. Can't taste alcohol. Mm -mm. No. So you could probably drink quite a few of these, and before you know it, you're very drunk. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like for people um, who like like flavored alcohol. The this will be great. Quite strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no. And then we've got a little friend here. What? Trying to get some meat, aren't you, hey? <laughs> you know. But uh, yes, yeah, so good. So good. So my favourite had chorizo was amazing. I'm I think I prefer the blood sausage. Chorizo and the burger for me are top draw. Oh yeah, burger was amazing. Fantastic. But for me, burger, blood sausage, blood sausage and then the chorizo. Really? And out of the two drinks, Schneider. Thing I prefer. Yeah, me too. It's just because it's uh, that's what we like. This is very easy to drink, but very aromatic. Minty. Yeah, we're not aromatic drinkers, but really interesting to try. Yeah, so good. And it's so nice of them just to give it to us. Mm. So uh, we thought we were going to end it there, but no. <laughs> Let's keep eating. Let's keep eating. Hello. So we're here in Salta. Salta is known for their empanadas, so we just ordered some next to the bus station. Let's hope they're nice. Uh, but we'll show you how they look like. We're paying 500, but we're not sure what we're getting. No, um, empanadas everywhere. Like you walk down the street in any town, and you say empanadas, empanadas, empanadas. We've had empanadas in Colombia. We love them. Uh, very famous all across South America. So we will try these empanadas. So we're just waiting for them to come out. It smells good. We're very hungry as well. We're very hungry. We just needed to come here. So uh, we'll probably try some more empanadas maybe in somewhere other than this. Oh, gracias. 12. Yeah. 12. 500. Just that they're all meat ones. This is good. This is good that I ever did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just meat, beef. Yeah, with some spices, onion, potato, baked chicken over there. They're baked. Mm. I love empanadas. Yeah? Mm-hmm. That it's flavoured so well. So well. These are really good. good. We're gonna eat these. Yeah, so good. Mm. Thumbs up. So we're just saying we absolutely devoured these so quickly. These are they're like mini Cornish pasties, yeah? Mini Cornish pasties. But I think they're tastier. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, today we are going to try a biscuit called Alfajores. It's a traditional Argentinian biscuit, and this is we found a really nice bakery, which we went to, and this is it. So. The ones you see around Argentina the most are not covered in chocolate, they're just the two layers of biscuit with dulce de leche in the middle. But I like the look of these, these look fantastic. So as I say, it's like two bits of shortbread, dulce de leche, which is like a caramel, caramel thing for Argentina, which is amazing. 
And dulce de leche is one of our favorite things. Kasia loves it as well. <laughs> Just the Argentinian one is my the favorite. The Argentinian one. Yeah. Um, so these are from the Middle East, these originate. Then the Spanish took them from the Middle East in the 8th century. And then the Spanish brought them over in the 16th century. And now it's traditional to Argentina. So let's have a look. My fingers are dirty. Look at that. Ooh, good. Oh, it's a dark biscuit. Yes. Usually I see more yeah, lighter biscuits. Yeah, pale ones. Maybe the cake is dolce de leche or maybe... Um, yeah, so you've got chocolate, dolce de leche, mm. and then this biscuit in between. Interesting. Tuck in. Tuck in. Mm. Very soft. Oh, really? Is it like a mm. gingerbread with dolce de leche? Looks Almost. Like There's so many different versions of Alfa Horos you can get. I say the most one you see is the naked one with Dolce de Leche with coconut sprinkled on. This is really nice. I mean, I love chocolate, I love Dolce de Leche, and it is almost like a ginger biscuit. Try it, mm -hmm. You don't like it? What's I look for? I like them. Yeah? It reminds me of Polish Pierni. Polish crepe. Funny enough. That's I love it. Really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. But yeah, definitely a little bit of gingerbread. -y, so it's definitely different than the white I one. But it's yummy. It's really nice. I saw a lot of the um, normal ones, but I'm not a big fan of coconut. So I thought I've seen these quite a lot, so I wanted to try them. And oh my god! And it only costed hundred. Um, hundred pesos. It's like forty pence. Forty pence. Because of the blue dollar rate. And they're fairly large, so. Um, We're gonna enjoy them. Thumbs up. Love it. Up to for the next one. Oh, so we which one in his place? place? We got a Kinder Alfredo, what they call Alfa Jores. Alfa Jores. We've got a Kinder one, we've got Oreo one, and we've got a traditional one, but without coconut because Dan is not a big fan. So, so this place is called. Oh, this is so heavy! Do you want to yeah. show inside? But I mean, no, it's on flip, so we can't show We'll show you back at home. So this is almost traditional one. Usually traditional one would be a tiny bit thicker with a coconut around it. This one is an um, Oreo one. This is enormous. This is so heavy as well. And we got one more. Wait for a kinder one. This is the almost traditional one. Almost traditional. Mmm. Mmm. So soft. With white chocolate on top. Mm. It's good. Mm. What do you think? Oh my god. It's good, yeah? Bite my ass and call me Judy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Isn't better maybe than the last one? Oh my god. <laughs> do you reckon there's more Dolce de Leche? Do you reckon that's what it is? I'm not sure. That is so good. Hey, that is incredible. So we've got a Kinder or we've got um, Oreo. Which one? What do you want to try? Let's try Oreo because Kinder is my favorite. How do I eat this first thing? I don't know how you eat it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a dark one. Mmm, mmm. Similar to what you had before. Mmm. How sweet. Number one. Mm-hmm. Number two. Number two. Number three. Right, let's try Kinder. Wow, she's going all in. <laughs> Look at that. Mm. Oh my God, it looks like Kinder inside. Mm -hmm. Different taste. Try it again. Let's have a look inside. Mm. That's so much dulce de leche. Mm -hmm. Looks good. I can taste kinder. 
I yeah. Can taste kinder. Yeah. And uh, kinder and dot said How much we paid for three? So that's yeah. less than three pounds. I mean about three pounds for all of three. I think the original went. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think? I agree. That this this is, is one the of the best desserts I've ever tasted. Funny enough, we had Kinder, we had Oreo, and we had the original, almost original, and that wins. Yeah. This is number one restaurant in Cordoba on TripAdvisor. Rose Comido. Um, drinking Ambrosia, Ambrosia, Mendoza Chardonnay, Chardonnay from Mendoza. <laughs> Smells lovely. It's lovely. And the glasses are cold, but not as cold as I would like them. So we've ordered three dishes. Some mashed potato thing. We've ordered beef de chorizo and provoletta. The last two are definitely Argentinian dishes. So we'll show you how they go down. Can't wait. Can't wait. So we ordered provoletta. Is there a wait, cheese? Wait, wait, wait. Or maybe there's cheese in there? Oh, there is cheese. Oh, yeah, there is cheese. Yay. But that goes steak. So, come on, Dan. Sadly, we drink his steak with white wine. Usually, we would eat it with red wine. Uh, just, oh my god, that cut through so yeah. easily. Medium rare. Beef and chorizo. Sirloin steak. Sirloin. Let me get some sauce in. as good as when I made it? <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> That's good. That is good. Here, yeah. hang on. It cuts so easy. You like medium ray, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let me get some sauce. You like it? It's good, eh? Yeah? That's good steak. Now I want you to try this. Best steak I ever had. Oh my god! Oh my god, that plate's hot. That's incredible. Yeah. So like, my mouth is like watery, buttery. You got a bit of nuts on there, is that okay? That's the problem letter. What do you think? Because there's like roast to me. Yeah? Nuts, cheese. I think I prefer the steak. The steak is so goddamn good. I'm not a meaty person, but the steak is incredible. This steak. On our face. Try the cheese. I thought the cheese would be a bit bigger. That's what I thought. Wait, it's hidden underneath. Can you taste the rosemary? Yeah. So chewy. Yeah. Steak is nicer, yeah? But it's still good. It's good. It's good, really good, but the steak is just incredible. It wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting like. Big cheese, yeah? That cheese just like dripping, dripping cheese. This is more chewy than like dripping. So the steak, the steak, oh my god, the steak. Yeah, so it's gonna eat now because my mouth is like dribbling. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Bye. Best beef Cash has ever had, best beef I've ever had. It's so tasty, honestly. I'm gonna have about 50 more of these while I'm in Argentina. If Kasha lets me. I would. If I had the cash for me to order another one, I would. I'd probably order another two or three. So we just got a receipt and this is like, whoa. We're paying 4,540, which in a blue dollar rate is 17 pounds 42. If we change that to do- actual dollar, it's twenty-two dollars seventy. This is just crazy how cheap this all is. Yeah. 
I can't believe it. 17 quid. So we had a bottle of wine, right? We had a starter. Usually a bottle of wine costs that much. Yeah, usually a bottle of wine. But don't forget, this is the best restaurant in Cordoba. And we paid £17 for a bottle of wine, a starter of potatoes, provoleta, beef and chorizo, which was incredible. £17. Usually like a one main dish in an average restaurant is like £15 in yeah, the UK. this is insane. So if this doesn't make you want to come to Argentina, I don't know yeah, what does. Make sure you come to Argentina, like it's cheap, like wow, this is crazy. Eat cheap at good restaurants. And drink cheap. And drink cheap. Yeah. So we're going to try Parilada for two people, so it should be a lot of meat. Just like an asado barbecue. Like an asado. When we ask for recommendation in a hostel, they said they usually, when they want a barbecue, they do it themselves. Yeah. yeah. We'll see how good this one is compared to last night. So here we are eating again. We've got sausage, blood sausage, yeah. chicken. What else we got? There's skinny like a chocolate. We've got chips, we've got salad, we've got okay. bread. And apparently we've got another plate coming out. So I'm having a black sausage. Yeah. It's the same though like the one we had before. Yeah. Uh -huh. Beautiful. So good. Cash is eating, we're not sure what this is. What is it? It's like a hole inside. It's always fat, but what is it? I've no idea what that is. The chicken tastes good, but Standard chicken bread. Cash is still tasting this. You don't know what it is, do you? Just now try the next one. This. Let's have a look at it. Another type of sausage. It's like a ham. Like what? Like a ham. Weird. So we're almost finishing off the first plate. This stuff, we're not sure what this is, we're not too keen on that. And we're not, on not too keen on this, we think it might be heart or something, we're not sure. No, liver, heart, The blood sausage you like. Yeah, the blood sausage. Chicken's really good. good. Um, That's my favourite. And this sausage is okay, but we've just got another selection of meat. Which we've got to tuck into. Now that looks amazing. So we're on the second plate. We've got steak, we've got ribs. This is what we're talking about. How is it? Yeah, good meat. And it's cooked so well. But anyway, I'm gonna. Not gooey. Not gooey? Um, it's sort of melting your mouth. Just pulls apart here. A bit of skin as well, if I get that on there. It must look like such a tourist recording everything. So good, yeah. It's just a natural flavor of meat, but it's just like really good. My watering, yeah. Really good. So this uh, pariada for two, a whole plate of meat that was here, a whole plate of meat was here. It was Thirteen pounds overall, three thousand two hundred pesos, including all the extra, including bread, salad, chips, all that. Fantastic price, yeah. So the meat is good. Last night meat was a little bit better, but this is still amazing. Yeah, so we do give it a thumbs up. It's just a lot. So much food. Yeah. <laughs> so much food. So, so we're here we're having the sandwich with the cheese. And I always wanted to try the cheese. Yeah. Never had the chance. So that'd be good. Je suis raclette. So this is a raclette. What did we order? We ordered a sandwich. We ordered a. We think it's a pulled pork sandwich with the cheese on top. I'm so. Sure we've got goats with cheese. Or like this, like poured on top of a sandwich, yeah? So we've seen it in like food TV shows, all sorts of food yeah. things and it looks incredible, yeah? Yeah, we're in San Telmo Market. It's quite a cool place and yeah, we're gonna try it. So whether they dip the cheese in front of us, I don't know, but no, we might get it out with the cheese already on top.
the sandwich doesn't look as cool. But look at that cheese. So much cheese. Go on, give it a go. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yes, yeah, see. We come to this place. Donna Tota. So this got recommended to us by an American family. They said it was really good steak. They had a food tour and went here. So, uh, and it's really reasonably priced. We went to see a few different ones, but they're quite expensive, and this is so cheap. A lot but cheaper. A steak for six pounds. Six pounds. A steak for six pounds. So. That's how much you buy a raw one in Tesco? Yeah. So we got, we got another provoletta. Uh, we got buffet di chorizo, and we got something called called entrania. Entrania, and it's skirt steak. They look good. They have a skirt. Maybe. So we'll show you when it comes out. Beef AD so is always the sirloin, which we had before. <laughs> Lovely. Our wine. We've got some bread as well. Oh god, it's blurry. We went for Cabernet Sauvignon from Mendoza. Is it good? Mm, I like it. That's my favourite red. Yeah, I like it too. And hopefully it will go with the steak. But I think what with red wine, it's the um, atmosphere. If we would bought this wine and just drank in a hostel, it wouldn't taste. Probably like not. It. You're right. I think that's what it is. So we've got this provoletta. It's very different to the this last is one like we got. The one I wanted to get. Yeah. Lots of cheese today. Such melted cheese. Bubbling away. So good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. oh. Good. You like, yeah? yeah I like. So much better than the last place, yeah? yeah. If it's got like tomatoes, olives, bits of uh, chorizo, if we get. I don't know. Maybe. Mmm. When it's melted cheese. It smells delicious. Oh, the olives. Brilliant. Mm. I haven't got bread to go with it. So Yum. Let's, let's enjoy it, yeah? So, we just got our steak. So, I think, I imagine that... That's the beef aged shredder. So, should I cut it in half? Yeah. And I got the entrania. Entrania steak. Let's have a look in the middle. That's a little bit more well done there, need hope. More but... Pink on that other side, right? Oh, is it? Oh, that's right. Yeah, that. Oh, Whoa, give me half. That's a big piece of steak, yeah? Try it. it smells so good. Ooh, cuts well. Cuts well. Do you want to cut whatever that is? Is that uh, just a meat or is there ribs in there? Or? Just meat. Oh, look, it has to be half. That's a lot of meat, yeah? Oh, that's that very is. pink. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Argentina is all about meat. And cheese. And cheese, yeah. Which one do you prefer? That was more expensive, the film. I prefer this one. Oh, Beef interesting. That's a little, slightly more chewy. I think the taste of the chorizo, that steak. Let's see if you, what you think. Oh, yeah. Yeah? I see what you mean. What do you reckon taste-wise? The more chewy. I swear I can taste it like kidney liver. Really? No? Don't put me off. <laughs> funny. Right, so we're gonna have red wine with this. 
We've got salad chips. Salad chips. They don't look so good, the chips. The this, this steak is beautiful. We've got to stick with the, I think the beef AD chorizos in the future. Right, let's go. Let's okay, so we've just come out of the football game and they were selling this on the street. So yeah, we're just outside Boca Juniors, crazy fireworks, and they're cooking chorizos. So this is famously eaten at football games. Beef and pork chorizo uh, with the sauce. Is it chimichurri? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's give it a go. This is the sausage. Yum. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. Cold though. And? Mm, yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. The sauce is really good as well. Not spicy. Not as spicy no, as I thought. No, I want thought. spicy, but yeah, it's not. It's not spicy, mm. but the sausage is really nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mmm, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah, it's very nice sausage. Beef and pork. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. So we're going to head back because there's so many people around, but let's go. We're still in Buenos Aires, and today we're trying the most famous breakfast or the snack, Media Lunas. I probably pronounced this wrong. It's like a little, it means half moon. It's like a little croissant, isn't it? So it's a bit more, definitely not like the French one. But let's try. Mm, it's sweet. It reminds me of English um, sweet rolls. Uh, what do we call it? Mm, nice with the coffee. We've got jam, butter, just starter. Mm -hmm. So maybe with jam. Try a little bit of jam. Do you think that'll work? Oh yeah, definitely. I thought the jam is for the toast. Uh -huh. mm. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a bit. Yeah, sweet then of course. More doughy. I can tell the taste of burnt. Oh really? A bit doughy as well. So uh, these ones are the best ones that we've chosen. We could have got better ones. Oh yeah. Because uh, yeah, they are burnt. But I still like it. But do you know what it tastes like? What well, reminds me of those like of English sweet rolls. No. You like the? It's really nice. It's just a burnt just bit rip the bend bit off then. Apart from okay, so we're gonna enjoy this. Mm -hmm. This is another traditional Argentinian food. Yum yum yum. So we're here. We've got the fire guy, you can't really see it from here. Got the steaks ready. I uh, thought we'd end the vlog here. Yeah. Be taking sure it's soaked. So we're gonna make our own. We wanted to do it in the barbecue outside, but it's pouring with rain, so we're doing it in the pan. I'm sure it still tastes good. Um anyway, so just to sum up our food vlog we absolutely loved nearly everything we tried the beef is incredible the apple oil is incredible the cheese the beef is like in every form like different we made mm -hmm. some meatballs the other day and it was just like wow mm -hmm. the wine's good <laughs> yeah mm. best a lot of wine um so we spent a bit, bit more here than we did in peru on food just because of the blue dollar rate and you can get like fancy meals for a lot cheaper here. So that's why we did that. So, but overall, absolutely loved the food, we loved the steaks, we loved everything. We did have some more food. If you check out our second Buenos Aires vlog, I'll put the link up now. Uh, we did the Argentine experience where we had these incredible steaks, empanadas, everything. So check that out if you have time. But for now, we're gonna have our steaks.